Many Utahns are celebrating the day at Liberty Park, as you just heard from Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree. But this celebration is different and very different compared to any, many others that we've seen. Fox 13 News photojournalist Nathaniel Gillies got to take a close look at the culturally enriching event going on right now. It's a Native American celebration in the park powwow. The significance of this powwow is to bring together all cultures. You know, the, the drum is a very powerful beat. That's why you hear that one single beat every time. It's supposed to bring together love and unity as all cultures. <laughs> We have a voice, we can hear us, hear our young lungs yelling, saying that we're here. And for the old folk, they have CDs. It's a way to continue educating, it's a way to continue encouraging, and it's a way to continue inspiring indigenous young people to be who they are, and that's just to be indigenous. People in power, they frame it. They frame the interaction between the the new settlers and the indigenous peoples as something as a kumbaya type sort of deal when when in actuality there was there was rivalry there was bloodshed there was there was all these negative things we're here to celebrate we're here to sing we're here to dance as indigenous peoples and of course it's a time for us to educate the non-indigenous world this is really the first event i've ever seen that talks about the indigenous peoples um, during the same time of year. I think so often we overlook the indigenous tribes that were here and focus only on the pioneers that settled here. I extended my heart and my hand to them and said the time has come that the Native American celebration in the park, the people who are the indigenous, the first Utahns to be part of your event. Just as Columbus Day, it was changed to Indigenous Day. You know, Pioneer Day can also include natives.